Oliver, did you hear that? Hey, sis. I knew it. I knew you were alive. I missed you so much. You were with me the whole time. Hackers, giants again. Uh, black president, that's new. Oh, and lost? They were all dead, I think. What was it like there? Cold. Tomorrow, you and me, we're doing the city. You've got a lot to catch up on. That sounds like a great idea. There's plenty of time for all that. I mean, Queen consolidated it. Oh, sorry, Mr. Oliver. Yes, you've this for cool Dude, do you speak Russian? I didn't say anything. She didn't have to. Oliver, Walter and I are married. And I don't want you to think that either one of us did anything to disrespect your father. We both believe that Robert, like you, was uh, gone. It's fine. May I be excused? Hey, don't forget about tomorrow, buddy. Yeah. Ollie! No one's called me that in a while, Speedy. <sighs> Worst nickname ever. What, always chasing after me as a kid? I thought it fit pretty well. Maybe it still does. See you at school, Speedy. Sorry about her. I have something for you. You did not come back from the deserted island with a souvenir. It's a hosen, and in Buddhism it symbolizes reconnecting. I kept it in hopes that one day it would reconnect me with you. A rock, that is sweet. You know, I want one of those t-shirts that says my friend was a castaway and all I got was this crappy shirt. <laughs> Don't let him get you into too much trouble. You just got back. Take it slow. <clears throat> the city awaits. <laughs> have you noticed how hot your sister's got? Because I have not. Back in a minute. Ollie! Hey! Well, this party is sick. Who let you in here? I, I believe it was somebody who said, right this way, Miss Queen. Well, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> oh, I'm not 12 anymore. No, you're 17. Ollie, I, I love you. But you can't come back here and judge me. Especially for being just like you. I know that it couldn't have been easy for you when I was away. Away? <laughs> no, you died. My brother and my father died. I went to your funerals. I know. No, you don't. Mom had Walter and I had no one. You guys all act like it's cool. Let's forget about the last five years. Well, I can't. For me, it's kind of permanently in there. So I'm sorry if I turned out some major disappointment. But this, me, is the best I could do with what I had to work with. Let's bounce. <laughs> Do you have a fun dip? Yeah, it's right here. No, I, I must have dropped it. Refunding the Halcyon pension plan has always been his intent. But sources say Redmond was coerced by the vigilante, who to this day... This guy gets more airtime than the Kardashians, right? Five years on an island and you still know who they are. I've been catching up. Where are you going? Uh, somewhere loud and smoky. And don't bother trying to pickpocket my stash this time, because I'm going to go get drunk instead. Thea, do you think this is what Dad would want for you? Dead people don't want anything. 
It's one of the benefits of being dead. I was dead. And I wanted a lot. Except for your family. You've been home a week and all you do is avoid mom, ignore Walter, and judge me. Don't wait up. Attorney for shipping magnate Martin Summers has confirmed his client has no intention of testifying, maintaining his innocence in the wrongful death of Victor Nocenti. Nocenti's body was found four weeks ago. We'll keep you updated as more information becomes available. Uh, wait, how did you get those? Hey, don't you knock? No, wait, Mom said that there were scars. I, um, Oliver, what happened to you out there? I don't want to talk about it. Of course you don't. You never want to talk to me about anything, except for my social life. Wait. Where are you going? Why should I tell you? I'm sorry, Thea. I need to get better at talking about what happened to me there. But I'm not ready yet. Okay? Do you have a second? Yeah. Good. I want to show you something out back. Sometimes when I felt whatever, I'd come here. About a month after the funerals, mom stopped going out. Pretty soon she stopped talking altogether. The house got so quiet, so I'd come here to talk to you. I mean, stupid stuff, like what I was doing that day, what boy I had a crush on. And then sometimes I'd ask you, beg you to find your way home to me. Now here you are. And the truth is, I felt closer to you when you were dead. Look, I know it was hell where you were, but it was hell here too. You gotta let me in, Ollie. You gotta let someone in. What happened? Thea okay? Cops brought her home. She and some of her friends broke into a store, tried on some dresses last night. Lit up the breathalyzer like a Christmas tree. So how was your evening, sir? You mean after I said I had to go to the bathroom at dinner and never came back? I guess from now on I'll be watching you pee. Thank you, officers. My wife and I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I'll see you out. Thank you. Last time it was public intoxication, this time breaking and entering. My, how we are moving up in the criminal world. You know, when you pay off the store owner, you should check out the merchandise. They got some pretty killer outfits. Thea, yeah, go get ready for school. Uh, you know, I was thinking of taking a sick day. Fine. Then get some sleep. You look like crap. You letting her play hooky? When your sister gets like this, it's best to give her her space. She's testing you. Yes. Who'd she learn that from? Mom. When I was her age, you and Dad let me get away with murder. Looking back, I could have used less space and more parenting. Big brother! <laughs> Oh, I am so wasted right now. There is, there's two of you. I thought you were grounded. I am. I, thank you. Thank you for that, by the way. You're done for the night. Oh, what are you gonna do? Tell mom. Thea. You are hanging with the wrong people. 
You're one to talk. How much do you know about your own so-called friends over here? Oh, Thea, maybe you shouldn't... Oh, Tommy, I think your BFF has a right to know. Thea, let's go. Well, I guess they never told you that they've been screwing while you were gone. Look, man, I... Tommy. It's okay. You and me, we're done for the night. Take your hands off of me. You're not my father. And you're barely my brother. There any evidence of a struggle. But hours later, the police found a bloodstained kitchen knife in the trunk of Peter Duckworth. Couldn't sleep either? No. What are you watching? Peter Declan. Hmm? The guy who killed his wife. Right, this guy killed his wife in their baby's room. Psycho. Camille was everything to me. I couldn't kill her any more than I could kill myself. So why can't you sleep? Can't. Bad dreams. About? Laurel. So why don't you make a play? I mean, she did come over here just to make sure you didn't get shot. There are reasons. And what are they? Besides you sleeping with her sister and her sister dying and her father hating your guts and you basically being a jerk to everybody since you've been back. Those are the top ones. <laughs> I know that it might not seem like it sometimes, but... I'm not the same person I used to be. So sure. Be yourself. I mean, your new self. Hey, Speedy. One of the workers left a keg too far from the bar. Can you ask him to move it, please? I got the ankle thingy. I want to set off a SWAT invasion. Hey. All this stuff, it's going to be fine, I promise. Yeah, well, when you and Dad left on the yacht, you promised me I'd see you in a few days. Which didn't happen. This is different than that. I didn't do any of this stuff. You know that. Right? You're out all the time. You have those scars, and since you've been back, you've been acting really weird. None of this makes me some Robin Hood wannabe. And you gave me this. I mean, it's an arrowhead. Yeah, I bought that in the gift shop of the Beijing airport. I, now I'm sort of happy I didn't buy the shot glass with the panda on it, because then you'd be worried I was panda man. You know, I, I knew you couldn't be this person. I, I just, I can't lose you again. Yeah.